have a little bit of silent time to myself. Um, I'm in the kitchen right now, so it's a little bit noisy. The fridge and whatnot makes a lot of noise. Um, but I'm working in here just for fun. Um, and I appreciate this really, really quickly. Um, I'm not finished this. It's going to be a cushion, so I'm currently just finishing it and stuffing it up. But what it is, it was just two circles that I made. Um, I used it just to follow the tutorial online. Maybe I'll link the blog here if you not want to know how to do this. Um, so it was just two flat circles. And I just used those like multicolored yarn that changes as it goes. And then I sewed the two circles together, right sides together, and then flipped it inside out and left an opening so that I could put polyfill in it, some stuffing. And see, it's not full yet. I still have that much left to do of this circular cushion thing. I thought you'd really like these sounds. Let's make some space on the table. Sorry. This is the bag of stuffing. It's really huge. It's like a big pillow. So what I do is I just rip off small bits of it at a time and put it in. You don't want to put a huge chunk in or else it's going to be lumpy. So some like just breaking it up. How can you see this better maybe? Just rip it up and pull out a bunch of pieces. If you've ever made stuffed toys or if you ever want to, just remember that one tip. It's very straightforward to stuff things, I think, but make sure it's small bits. I know that takes a bit more patience, but you won't be so lumpy afterwards. I'm just going to see how firm I want this to be. It's pretty good like that. I'm almost done filling the edges here. Still a lot of room around this edge. It might seem like it's filled, but it's not quite. We're very close. Tucking it in the edge and the bottom. That should do it. So now I need to just stitch this closed. So I have some yarn on a needle already. Yarn needle's not very sharp. I want to be able to do this and show you at the same time so that you can see what I'm doing. Just 
Tuck that tail inside. And this is called whip stitching. I'm gonna pull it so that it doesn't, you can't really see it. Ooh, not that much. <laughs> Where am I? There. And here. Where is that edge? Ah, oh, there's like that empty, there's an empty bit right there. I'll have to get the foam into there. Maybe I should have put more stuffing in. Anyhow, I'm just going to tie this off to where I can see it. I don't really know how I'm going to hide this away, but I'm going to try. kind of tight as well and then ta -da. I like it this I could use this cushion to sit on if I wanted to or on my back on my chair add some color does that look really funny probably squish down the pillow and then roll it like this oh yeah I definitely should have put more stuffing in it nice and round almost like a beach ball or something it's a little bit lumpy Sorry, and that's it. Ta da! See that desert kind of lumpy? Uh, oh well. Wow. It's 
side do you like more? One or two? I think I like this one more, especially this bit. I don't really like the yellow brown. It's so cozy. Okay, that's just my short little video for today.